research. But what is the undergraduate program? Okay, it has four uh, four years of undergraduate training with four uh, sorry eight semesters. Okay, so when I say that, you know that the BSc, uh, the, the usual BSc program is for three three years, right? But the Bachelor's of Science at the Indian Institute of Science is for four years. Okay. Um, so keep that in mind, that's one of the uh, important difference, okay? And the final year, the final year of the undergraduate program, okay, uh, is devoted exclusively to research. Okay, so you go to a lab, you use the, uh, uh, you know, the scientific equipment, and you get to do stuff. So for, in my case, okay, uh, uh, I worked in a theory lab, so in a computer school lab, okay? and the Indian Institute of Science has the fastest supercomputer in India, okay? and I got to use one of the supercomputer in India, and I did my thesis, my undergraduate research, by using the, the top uh, supercomputer in India. And so that kind of exposure you get uh, if you come to this kind of uh, this institute, okay? You get that, okay? In the other top uh, supercomputers, they got. I did supercomputer, I did some some computer, I did laptop, I did some some I did desktop, like that. Games, I did a lot of stuff. I did desktop, I did. Yeah, can you go supercomputer? I did the uh, simulation, see? Yeah, I did some some weather simulation, some some material simulation, some 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 I do my simulation now, see, is it the Indian Institute of Science campus on the lake? But I do my supercomputer, I do my supercomputer, I do my BSc, I do my undergraduate, I do my master, I do my master, I do my master, I do my opportunity, I do my master. Why? Because that kind of an institute, they give you exposure to any kind of resources that they have, okay, free of cost. You use it for research, for your thesis. Okay. Uh, next. So, what can you study at the Indian Institute of Science? Okay. You can study six uh, major subjects, and those are biology, chemistry, art science, material science, mathematics, and physics. Okay. So, these are the only options. So if you are interested in doing engineering or something, or something else, okay, the, the Indian Institute of Science does not have an option for that. But the thing is, you can do research, okay, you can do research which is more or less engineering or medical related. Okay, so you get a touch or a feeling of what the research is on uh, the engineering background. Okay. Yeah, so after the completion of your fourth year, so you complete your four years of BS, right, uh, of the bachelor's, then you can continue for one more year and get a master's degree, right? So in if you know any other master's program, okay, it's for two years, right? Master's program is usually for two years. If you go to Delhi University, you are going to find that the master's program is for two years. <coughs> or any other place, even in Manipur University or any other university. But here in the Indian Institute of Science, you get to do one year of master's program. And why is that? Because the student is trained at an extreme level at the uh, time you're doing your bachelor's, right? So when you come to your master's program, you are easily able to do your thesis work by taking a few courses. So it's sufficient to have only one year of training for the master's program. Okay, is that clear? Right. Okay, so let me go forward. So these are the majors that we have at the Indian Institute of Science. Chemistry, you get to do a lot of chemical research, let it be in, in organic, okay, or maybe it's in organic, or organic right? Or you get, get to do in physics. Uh, uh, you can do research in uh, theoretical physics, experimental physics, you can do superconductivity, you can do uh, 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 heavy fermion, and so on, okay, which I don't want to mention right now, but 
You can do uh, your major in mathematics and material science, and this is the major that I chose. Okay, and material science is something which is new, which is uh, which is more or less uh, rare in the uh, Indian universities. Okay, and uh, it has a blend. Okay, it's a mixture of physics, chemistry, and a little bit of engineering. Okay, and you can also do biology. Uh, research in medical as well as biological research. Okay, in this lab, okay, you see the yellow lab here. This is a real lab at Indian Institute of Science, and it's a multi-million uh, dollar. I think maybe a billion dollar. I'm not really sure about the estimate, but it's a really really expensive lab at the Indian Institute of Science. Okay, and this is where uh, this lab is where most of the high uh, tech uh, the research is uh, done, okay? So, uh, you get to experience research on a daily basis. Like, you, if you want to become a scientist, okay, you want to do research, you want to know more, like, you want to write a, a, a theory, like, or you want to, or you think that the science is for you, okay? The Indian Institute of Science is one of the institutes that you should consider, okay? But it's not easy, okay? I'll, come to why it's not easy, okay, how does a student get into the Indian Institute of Science, okay, uh, the student should have compulsorily studied physics, chemistry, and mathematics, okay, should, this is a compulsory, Eligi the eligibility criteria is that the student should have studied physics, chemistry, and mathematics, okay, so for example, if a student studied arts or commerce, they are not uh, eligible to apply. Okay, but if a student also, uh, who had also studied biology, statistics, and so on can also apply if they have physics, chemistry, and mathematics at the 11 to 12. Okay, uh, uh, but for the SC and the SD candidates, there is a relaxation uh, uh, for the 60% requirement. Uh, okay, also it's important that. Uh, you can apply for the Indian Institute of Science two times, like uh, on the year at which you're completing your 12th standard and the year after that. So you have two chances to apply to the Indian Institute of Science. Um, and then this is the list of the uh, exams through which you can qualify or you can get admission to the Indian Institute of Science. Okay, so we the first exam is the KBPY, okay? So the KBPY has three exams, okay? SA, which you give during your 11th standard. Then there is SX, which you give during your 12th standard. And there is SB, okay? SB is the exam that you give when you are in the first year of your uh, college. Okay, so you can still give this exam when you are in your first year, first year of college. Okay, uh, so uh, these are the three uh, three uh, exams uh, under KBPY, and then you can apply to JE Men, JE Advanced, or NEET undergraduate. Okay, so and you see here for the general category, the minimum requirement is sixty percent. Okay, but keep in mind, this is the minimum requirement, sixty percent. Okay, I already. Really, uh, minimum requirement it doesn't mean that if you get 61% you will get admission okay, so for example uh, the KBPY has a, uh, 60 seats okay, 60 seats the JE main has 20 seats the JE advanced has 20 seats and the need uh, uh, has 20 seats so the total is 120 seats okay so, for example, if the top 20 uh, toppers or uh, all in their rank uh, 1 to 20 apply uh, for IASC from the JE Advance, okay, the AIR 21 of JE Advance is not going to get a seat at IASC. Okay, but that rarely happens. Okay, keep that in mind. That rarely happens because the people who write the JE Advance exams are really interested in doing uh, engineering, so uh, few few of the students apply. Okay, uh, 
Okay, but there is, again, a reservation for the SC and ST candidates. Is that clear? I can clarify any doubts if you have regarding this, <coughs> or maybe afterwards. Okay, uh, okay, the application form is available only online, so you don't have to uh, uh, like so send it by post or something. It's only available at this website, so you can write it down if you like, or take a photo of that. Or I can tell you later uh, at the end, right? So the application fee is 500 rupees only, okay? Uh, and it's relaxed by 250 rupees for the SC, ST, and people with disability, okay? For the people who are in the general and the OBC category, OBC the general category, the tuition fee say annually per year only ten thousand rupees. Okay, per year it's only ten thousand rupees. Okay, this is true. I, I, I'm not kidding. This is this is uh, from the website, the most updated website of ISC. Okay, it's the tuition fee is only ten thousand rupees. And there are some fees, uh, some other fees, which is like the, uh, for extracurricular stuff. Uh, it's, uh, you don't, it's not that much. But, I uh, do the you the hostel fee and the mess fee the mess hostel It's roughly 4,500 uh, per month. Okay. So it's really manageable. Uh, and for uh, people who are in the SC and ST category, uh, there is no tuition fee as of now. Okay, tuition fee is zero. Okay. Uh, it, it, this is the truth. Uh, so, okay, so that's more or less about the uh, uh, institute. Okay, but one more thing I need to say is that every student Okay, every student who goes to or studies at the Indian Institute of Science gets a scholarship. Okay, they get a scholarship. It will be either from KDPY, okay, or from Inspire. Okay, so and and all students who go to the Indian Institute of Science, they get a scholarship from these two, and the amount is the same, which is sixty thousand rupees. Per annum. Okay, so everyone gets a scholarship of sixty thousand rupees per per year. Okay, and then during the summer, you're required. Since you're getting the scholarship, you're required. It's a requirement. Okay, if you don't do this, you will stop getting the scholarship. But you are required to do a project during the summer. So a research project during the summer, okay? And for that, you get an extra 20,000 rupees for the summer, okay? This is only for the summer, this is for the entire year, okay? Um, so regarding the fees, it's really, really manageable, okay? Uh, yeah, so, uh, so is that clear? Okay, uh, yeah, so you get it either from KBPY or Inspire, okay? So if you qualify the KBPY exam and get admission, you are going to get the scholarship from KBPY. But if you don't qualify or you uh, get the admission to the other channels like JE or JE Advance or NIT, 
we are going to get the scholarship from Inspire. Okay. Okay. So what do what are the people doing uh, after their undergraduate at IISC? I completed my undergraduate from uh, IISC two years ago. Uh, so it's my second year in PhD, and these are my uh, batchmen. Like people uh, from my own batch. Okay, we have 120 students, uh, and this is not a complete list. List. Okay, so but these are the people uh, who have completed their uh, bachelor's and master's from the Indian Institute of Science, and uh, you can see how sparsely uh, we are. Okay, most of us are doing PhD because that is the main aim, like to do research. Okay, uh, and then uh, some people are also doing jobs. Okay, so. Um, so, for, for example, uh, this is where I am, the number 37, okay, this, uh, that's where my university is located and uh, we are, uh, I mean, doing a PhD research and doing jobs in companies, like really high paying jobs at companies, okay. Uh, okay, that's all for today, uh, and if you want to contact me, uh, you can note down this email address and the Instagram account, uh, I believe you can contact me to uh, email uh, for any questions, like anything at all. Like, if you want to know about the exam, about the institute, about, uh, about anything at all, you can contact me, okay? Uh, yeah. So, any questions right now, raise your hand. Yes. Can you raise your hand? Do you have an answer? Any questions? Yes. Any questions? Yes. How did you get Oh, I, I, okay. So, like I showed... Okay. The question was, how did I get into IASC? Okay. So, uh, these are the five, uh, sorry, four options. Through which, uh, uh, through which one can get into the Indian Institute of Science. And I got into through the J main, but in my time it was AI Tripoli. Okay, so it has been changed after 2013, but I applied uh, at 2012, so it was AI Tripoli. It's the same thing, the name has changed, but yeah, so I got into J main. Okay. So without wasting much time, we just continue with the next speaker. Thank you.